What is the Kelly Criterion? A money management strategy that tells you the optimal size of a bet or a series of bets, assuming you know the bankroll and the edges on the bets. Why should I use this? To help you maximize the long-term growth rate of your bankroll if you are a positive EV handicapper by staking the optimal fraction of your bankroll based on your advantage. Why is this important? Because in theory, if you bet suboptimally, in other words, betting more or less than the Kelly dictated number, in the long run your bankroll will suffer. Overbetting your bankroll will make you win less or even lose money. Underbetting your bankroll will not maximize your earnings. The Kelly formula gives you the optimal bet size. Who should use the Kelly criterion? Sharp bettors who can estimate the probability of winning a bet. According to SBR's math model expert Justin Seven, the main downfall of using this approach is that most sports bettors overestimate their edge. If you're not using some pretty advanced techniques to evaluate your edge, you have no business using Kelly. But nevertheless, no matter how sophisticated of a handicapper you may be, the concepts behind the Kelly Criterion are essential for every sports better to understand. How do I use the Kelly Criterion? This chart shows the Kelly formula. P is the probability that you will win the bet. B is the payout on the bet. K is the percentage of bankroll that you'll put at risk on each bet. Let's try some examples. Example 1, the coin toss. Let's say you have a weighted coin that will come up heads 52% of the time and someone offers you even money odds on the call. So P is 0.52, B is 1, and K comes to 0.04, or 4% of your bankroll. So if you bet 4% of your capital on each coin flip, you'll have the fastest percentage of growth. If you bet between 0% and 4%, or between 4% and 8%, you'll grow, but more slowly. If you're betting 8%, double the optimal bet size on even money odds, you'll break even. And if you're betting more than 8%, expect to lose in the long term. Example 2, an NFL futures bet. Assume your chances of winning are 20% and the odds are plus 1,000, or 10 to 1. Then, K will be 0.12, or 12% of your bankroll. Example 3, a negative outcome. Let's say your chances of winning a bet are 50% and the payout odds are minus 110. Then, K is negative, so you shouldn't make the bet at all. A negative result means that you don't want to bet and you will lose in the long run. In this case, the Kelly calculator at SBR will give a result of 0%. To get more practice with these numbers and concepts, check out the Kelly calculator on sbrforum.com in the betting tools section. Useful tip! Many traders use a half Kelly strategy, limiting each trade to half the amount indicated by the Kelly criterion as a way to keep the trading account from shrinking too quickly. They're especially likely to do this if the Kelly criterion generates a number greater than about 